Hello once again from the Old Hamptonians YouTube channel where we're bringing you first 11 action in Surrey Div 2 from Dean Road. This time our opponents being Farnham Cricket Club, another well established side in this division but one that our boys knew little about going into the fixture. This tie was incidentally a timed game thus Farnham winning the toss and electing to bowl was a significant early victory within the context of the afternoon. Our lads would be fighting an uphill battle to achieve more than just the winning draw. After scoring 87 not out last week, Captain Toby Godfrey was clicking into gear at the top of the order and took the game to the Farnham attack early on. Timmy Walker was seeing the ball well at the other end, some fine boundaries in the highlights reel for you to enjoy, but it, the partnership met its end in the 15th over uh, as Rob Goldsworthy managed to squeeze his way through the Walker gate just after the 50 partnership was reached. A less comical dismissal than his last appearance on the channel, but one that's left the cap equally bemused. Denel joined Toby at the crease and the boundaries continued to flow. This sharp bottom-handed pinch hit into the leg side, a sign of the form our captain was starting to find. But the frustration kicked in for Denel as his scoring slowed down and tried to hoik Nathan Thorpe towards Twickenham, the delivery turning sharply and sending Manuel back to the clubhouse. Trent Park arrived at the wicket and fell victim to a really sharp grab behind the stumps from Jamie Strachan off the bowling of James Berry, leaving the pals 79 for three. In an effort to prevent the collapse, Godfrey continued to take it to the Farnham bowlers. This strike through the covers taking him to another impressive 50 coming from 97 balls. Adam Lee played some characteristically aggressive shots early on in his knock. It looks as though he's starting to find his feet this season after looking good on Thursday's 2020 encounter away at Valley End. Nathan Thorpe on the receiving end of the lead treatment this over. Tobes was seeing it like a beach ball down on one knee here to paddle James Berry to the rope. And Ads continued to hit up and over the first maximum of this knock, coming off thought once again, the cars on Pigeon Lane in the danger zone once more. The pair continued to keep the scoreboard moving well and the run rate well above three as the 40th over approached. Adam deciding that Hampton Academy was the target this time. But his knock would come to an end in the 40th over after a tentative fish at this Luke Griffiths delivery. Well caught by Thorpe and the second grammar unperturbed by his bowler. OH we were in a solid position with the score at 134 and Toby continued to look very solid. No one on the boundary rope daring to mention the possibility of a first ton of the season for the skip. Ben Chippendale, a plus one of OH1's very own Rob Bentley, has proven particularly useful across the club this past month. This is a fine strike down the, down the ground on his first 11 debut. Before meeting his end uh, with a rather agricultural heave straight out of Farmers Weekly off the bowling of Dominic Lloyd. The aforementioned Bentos joined Tobes at the crease as the latter creeped through the 90s. Rob has played some really handy knocks this year and averages 20. This full toss from Lloyd dealt with very assuredly by Rob. And so in the 51st over, after an extremely composed 155 balls, Captain Godfrey reached his first century for the season and his third for the club. A, a marvellous return to form, perfectly summed up by that celebration. Well batted times. One more streaky boundary and Toby decided to call the innings at 194 for five. 
important runs courtesy of Tim Walker, Adam Lee and Rob Bentley perfectly serviced an excellent captain's knock which meant the runs were probably just out of Farnham's reach. OH would thus begin the task of attempting to bowl out the away side's batting lineup without them reaching the winning draw target. Farnham knew their task and batted very conservatively in the opening overs. Jamo, very unlucky not to remove Thorpe here. Before Guy Hicks played some measured strikes off of Razzis Bog. Until the rain came for the first time on this channel and reduced their chase to 35 overs where the total needed for the winning draw and the extra points was 134. When play resumed, uh, the Farnham batsmen really up the ante. Some great shots seen here. I'll let these play out. Ben Douse made the opening breakthrough of Nathan Thorpe. He really is in electric form this season and it was a great return after the boundary of his seventh delivery. And one soon became two as Harry Morrow sliced one to Trent Park in the slips and suddenly Farnham found themselves 42 for two after the rain. And yep, you guessed it. Then came the third, this time the big breakthrough of Guy Hicks, grabbed by Toby in the deep. Ben is now 12th in the county for wickets, formerly nicknamed the Bridesmaid due to often playing second fiddle despite from removing the useful players. That label is now well and truly out the window, having already picked up 19 scouts this season so far. However, the partnership that would follow would soon prove to be the thorn in the OH side as James Berry and Tom Flack began their unbeaten 104 run stand despite the unending pressure from the Hamptonian Wicks and the informed house. They soon started to take it to the spinners as well. Rob Bentley and Rich Brown unfortunately falling prey to some very well-timed aggressive shots from both bats as they pushed for that target for the winning draw. Not the most pleasant sights for fans of the old Hamptonians. Razza on the receiving end of the same treatment as well. Barry and Flack had really kicked into gear and their confidence was starting to show with Flack down on one knee to Brownie. And then doing again a few balls later they move to surpass the score of 134 with relative ease. And that would be that, a somewhat underwhelming finish, but a hearty round of applause must go to the Farnham semi-chase and namely Berry and Flack's efforts as they take seven points home compared to OH's four. A massive first century of the season for Toby Godfrey and more valuable wickets for Ben Douse. Thanks for watching.